right now, as you're sitting there, your body has over one million different types of proteins, with each of these proteins performing specific functions in the body. Now, these protein functions are essential for the smooth day-to-day -day operation of the body. And we as scientists appreciate the fact that defective protein function often leads to complications in the body that are often associated with human diseases. Now, over the years, scientists have manipulated that understanding of protein function to our advantage, especially in designing therapeutic drugs. To begin with, proteins themselves are very large molecules that are made up of single unit building blocks that are known as amino acids. Now, these amino acids are arranged in certain clusters that are known as domains. Now, it's actually these domains that are responsible for conferring specific functions to different types of proteins. Now, for example, you can have a protein within the bloodstream that is responsible for the uptake of oxygen. So within that protein, there's a domain that is responsible for attaching to oxygen. So in that case, it's an oxygen binding domain. Now, we have carried out a search within online protein databases for a very specific domain that is responsible for the formation of cyclic GMP, which is a very important cellular messenger that is involved in the transmission of hormonal signals. Now, we have identified over 400 proteins across all living organisms that have got this domain. Now, the most interesting aspect in all of this is that in some of these proteins, this domain was found to be encapsulated within domains of a previously identified function, thereby conferring an additional function, giving proteins with such a domain architecture some dual functionality of some sort. Now, the existence of such a phenomena within living systems has evaded the eyes of researchers for quite a long time now, and it's only until now that we are slowly coming to appreciate its existence. However, the underlying mechanisms influencing this dual functionality are poorly understood. So my thesis is about investigating any functional bias within these molecules that actually exhibit this dual functionality. Do these molecules actually prefer one function over the other? Now, the most exciting revelation that I've made in my PhD so far is that a simple molecule such as calcium seems to be influencing this dual functionality. For example, it seems to be shutting down one function and yet at the same time enhancing the other function. Now, I believe that results from this study could actually unravel some of the previously unidentified therapeutic strategies. Thank you.